What's up everybody, I'm Eric at MA Performance and today we're gonna to be talking about connecting rods and the different kinds that there are. So choosing the right connecting rod and the fasteners play a key piece of how the engine is assembled and how it will run. So we have four rods here. We have an H-beam Eagle, we have a Manly I-beam, we have the Cali's Ultra I-beam, and this is what we use in our map spec engines. And then we have an R&R &R solid beam aluminum rod. And this one, compared to this one, can do a lot more. When it comes to material of the rods, there's a few different kinds. You have forged steel rods, which are most aftermarket in the H-beam and I-beam. And then you have the billet aluminum. And the billet aluminum can handle more load and shock compared to these ones, just given the weight. But these ones, these I-beams and these solid beams, if you think about it, the pressure from the boost coming down, if it's a boosted application, you need a robust rod to handle the extreme pressures that are applied. Now, an NA setup, an H-beam is more advantageous because it's lighter and it will rev faster. So NA, 10,000 RPM, I would recommend an H-beam rod. If you're putting 50 plus pounds of boost on it, these three rods would suit you better. So the Eagle rod torques to 43 foot pounds with ARP lube. These two torque to 80. This one torques to 110. So the difference between the two and the tensile strength and the clamp load and the grade of material is significant. So another thing to consider is the overall rod length and the stroke ratio in the engine that you're putting together. So a shorter rod will have a faster piston speed because of the length. The longer the rod, the more parts will wear out faster from the rod swinging further out, up and down. The shorter the rod, the more longevity and efficiency you'll get out of it. A shorter rod works better for lower RPM. It has better fuel efficiency because of the piston speed is accelerated and the fuel burns faster. A longer rod draws more air in and uses a shorter piston, which a shorter piston, longer rod will yield less reliable, sustainable longevity compared to a short rod. So a longer rod will yield more torque Torque is from more air coming in, more compression happening, more air evacuating. The other thing is that if you have a stroker crankshaft, you wouldn't be using a longer rod. You'd be using a shorter one. And then you'd make up the difference in the piston. So a shorter rod versus a longer rod will all be based off of how long you want the engine to perform and how well you want it to last. So when we look at the shape of the rods, this H-beam, which is more expensive to produce due to the more machining ops, has a robust straight beam versus the I-beam, which generally tapers towards the top. Now, there's two different things to consider. There's how much side load there is on the rod and on the pin, and then as you go up in grade, generally the sides get thicker to handle more load. Another thing to take into consideration is the design of the different ones. These rods might weigh very similar, but they're designed differently. This one is more sharp, has a little bit more on the parting lines, and this one's a very smooth shot peen finish. So I'm just gonna touch on the weight of these rods and why that's significant. So I'm gonna grab our scale. So we'll start with this aluminum rod. This aluminum rod's coming in at 567. Now, aluminum rods generally weigh about 25% less than a steel rod, although it's quite larger. Now we'll go to our entry-level H-beam rod, and that's coming in at 557, 10 grams lighter than an aluminum rod. This rod can handle a lot more power than this one. It can handle more shock and load given the material and the softness. Going to our manly rod, 
Our manly rod comes in at 648, which is almost 100 grams heavier. So these, this rod compared to this rod is much more stout. Now we go to our Cali's Ultra Enforcer, and this one comes in at 684. So this one's almost 40 grams heavier than the manly. Now, to summarize all of this, these three rods can handle more bending and heavier compression loads than this H-beam. Although this H-beam is lighter, it would work better for an NA application. When you consider how much cylinder pressure on the exhaust stroke, these three can handle more bending fatigue and higher load capacity, which will yield longer lifetime. So if you don't know what rods to pick for your build, give us a call at MA Performance. We have a dedicated sales team that'll help you pick the right parts to go into your engine. And if you guys wanna see any more engine highlight videos, give us a comment down below. Yeah, see, like, this is like curling. Yeah, like you have to like... I don't think it's linear. This floor isn't level. DJ connecting rod.